Hi there, hello there, hi. I've got a shop opening tomorrow at 3 p.m. UK time. And this time I've, I've made a whole room for it. <laughs> I have converted a room in my house completely to a shop. <laughs> the room used to be the guest bed slash my closet. Here's me making it. <laughs> to start out, I had to take everything out of the room, starting with the plushes. Lots of plushes. <laughs> Got rid of the thing off the wall. Took down all of my books. You can see the Kylo Ren helmet there, yay. Then we emptied out the closet and I've moved that downstairs now. Now we're moving the bed and I had to take the bed fully apart. It was a little bit difficult. I didn't know what I was doing, but it was fine. We vacuumed under it. It definitely needed that. Then we have to move the wardrobes off the wall. It needed to be vacuumed back there as well. I really want the walls to look nice, so I filled all the holes, sanded it down, made everything smooth again, and then we go to paint. The paint color I've picked, I can't tell if it's purple or blue, and I kind of like that. It's kind of fun, especially when you're in the room. Certain lighting will make it seem really blue and other lighting will make it seem purple. I'm adding a fake trim across the top and repainting the trim on the base. Now this was all just for behind the wardrobe, so we're all set there. Added more shelves to the wardrobe because I want to store my prints and other bits in there now. Taping off the rest of the room, prepping it to paint. And then we get painting. This part didn't take too long, but it does take a few extra coats when you're painting over another color. Previously, the room was half beige and half gray, but now it's gonna be my shop color. And I'm gonna say it again, I just really like the paint color, especially when you're in the room, it just seems so bright and happy. I'm really glad that I did paint behind the wardrobe because sometimes I don't paint behind furniture where you don't really see it. And then it's in the back of my head, I'm like, oh yeah, that wall's not done. <laughs> but now everything's done, it's really good. Then I'm adding my fake trim again. For this, I'm just adding a white line of paint across the top. I've gotten rather cold now, so here's me awkwardly putting it on my cardigan, yay. Anyway, we're taking the tape off now. Doing another coat on the trim. Doing the base trim. Then we're taking the tape off now that it's dry, and I really like that straight line. Next we got my Ikea furniture. It finally came. <laughs> went ahead and went for the cube storage. Figured it would be cheap and easy to store things in. I'm repurposing one of my old tables as well as a cheaper table that I found that folds away. To make them look fresh and new and match, I've added a layer of vinyl. I really do like using vinyl when I want to retouch furniture. It's quite durable as well. On white vinyl, I've hand cut out my logo and I'm placing that on the wall now and I'm so happy with it. <laughs> and now we get to put things in the right place. <laughs> Here I'm making a cafe curtain, which is essentially just a short curtain, which means the cat's not gonna get it. <laughs> then I'm adding a door to one of the shelves where I'm gonna have my label printer. And the other ones have boxes I've designed little icons for. For the top boxes, I'm just gonna use them as displays right now. And before I get my own plushes, I'm gonna add little Disney ones in there. It's fun to have little mascots in your workspace. <laughs> Plus Kermit, I love Kermit. Oh, these guys are so cute. I love them. I love, they just instantly make me happier. <laughs> I've added little battery operated lights to each of the cubes as well. So they light up at night time, it's really cute. I like plants, but we do have a cat, and so I have fake plants in my office. I've got my new keychains. I've also got these necklaces I'm super excited about. It's got whiskers wrapped around a paint tube. I've added my plushes across the top. And here's the finished shop room. I'm so excited about this. <laughs>
shop does reopen tomorrow at 3 p.m. UK time and I've got lots of new stuff I'm very excited to show you. We do have our pop sock kitties. I really like mine. I've had mine on my phone and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And we've got tote bags! I've made bags! We've got Archie there on a cloud. I made sure all the bags had zippers because I like a zipper on a bag. <laughs> and the smaller bag does have an adjustable strap. So you wear it as a handbag or how I like to wear bags, which is cross. <laughs> then we have the larger bag and this one's a little bit of an art play. We've got my painting featured on an easel with a lighter tone of the painting in the background and the name of this is painting a beach bag. Oh. <laughs> this bag has a handle and it has an adjustable strap again. The inside has an inner pocket with a zip because I do love a good big tote bag but the problem is everything always goes to the bottom. I need a spot for my phone <laughs> with a little zip to keep it safe from falling out and it still has the big zip. Yeah, they're nice light little bags. I like them. <laughs> Out of everything, I think my favorite things are the shopping list and the keychain. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's just like this little duck. It's so cute. <laughs> it is double-sided. We also have the art print for it. Oh. This is my new patch. It's a cat potion bottle. And I've got a dress dungaree overall thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the pocket up. I love an iron-on patch just because you can put them wherever you want and that's so much more convenient for me. <laughs> Every time like I pack a package or I wrap stuff or like I read the nice messages from you guys and then I get to see like the Instagram videos of you opening it or the TikToks. It's just really fun for me for you guys to like be excited to open it. Here's the new pin that is coming to my shop tomorrow. If you'd like a chance to win this pin, please leave a nice comment down below. Yes, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. My shop opens tomorrow, 3 p.m. UK time. It used to be noon UK time, but it's 3 p.m. UK time. So you have a little bit more time to sleep if you live in the Americas. Oh yes, but thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. Yay! Bye! Surprise, surprise, surprise! I'm very happy. I'm so happy.